You're a new player, and you've noticed Star Citizen is damn heavy to run. And that's what you get when you have a game that is in development and unoptimized. So let's see if we cannot help you increase some of that performance, as every single frame you get in this game is a godsend. Most seasoned vets will be aware of much of the stuff that I'm going to discuss. This is just to compile all known tips discovered for those starting out, or thinking about it. The first thing is the most important, if not mandatory. Installing on a solid state drive. Yes, either on the traditional SSD, or even better, an NVMe, the faster the better. This is first and foremost the largest boost you can do to help you with load times and overall frames per second. Number two, setting your page file. So Gypsy, what the f is a page file? For those unaware, a page file is also referred to as virtual memory. A possible fix for some of you out there who may be having some lower end machines and possibly a bit RAM starved. Many modern computers should not have this issue, but if you're here, you're ready to try anything. As you have learned, like in many AAA games out there and Star Citizen, you want every frame you can get. Please be aware, you will need free space on your drive to do this. To set your page file, in the start menu, click on the settings, then type in performance and hit enter. Select adjust the appearance and performance of windows, then select advanced, and then under virtual memory, click change. Make sure automatically manage paging file size for all drives is selected. Chances are this is selected, but if not, then select it and save the change by clicking OK at the bottom of the window. Optionally, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, it is recommended to provide more virtual memory by setting a custom value. In this case, you will deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. CIG will tell you to select the drive with Star Citizen installed and then click custom size. Be aware the values you set here are in megabytes, and for every gigabyte, that is 1000 megabytes. CIG also recommends trying to set your initial size to 8000 megabytes, or 8 gigabytes, and the maximum to 12000 megabytes, or 12 gigabytes. Click set, and then OK. Now you will have some extra headroom as far as memory goes. If your system is already at 32 gigabytes of RAM or higher, Really, you are fine to leave it with automatically managing paging file for all drives selected. 32 gigabytes is slowly becoming the norm, but going to be overkill for this in particular. Simply running Windows and Star Citizen, you're going to have loads of breathing room. Number 3. Amping up that shader cache. NVIDIA owners listen up, especially NVIDIA owners of older cards. This one seems to be about 50-50 on performance boosting, but those who say they benefit from it say it is night and day. Sorry AMD GPU users, this one is not for you. Discovered by one of the Star Citizen community members and posted on Spectrum, here we will boost the default shader cache. Many players on newer systems claim to see no difference, but worth a test nonetheless. In the taskbar, select your NVIDIA control panel. Once open, select Manage 3D Settings. Under Global Settings, scroll all the way down to Shader Cache Size. If set to Driver Default, which is normal, select 10 gigabytes, and then click Apply. Test it out to see if you see an improvement. If you do, bonus. If not, then I'd recommend putting it back to default. From what it appears, it uses virtual memory, or the page file we just set, to store the data. Going crazy with this can fill up your drive, so it is recommended no more than 10 gigabytes for those testing. Any more reports mention lots of lag or bottlenecking occurring. Any less really doesn't show any performance difference from what people have also been reporting. So try it with 10 gigs. If it helps, it helps. If not, oh well. And lastly, number four. Are you running your settings at high? You're not? Well, you should be. But why? How Star Citizen currently works. And no, once Vulcan and Gen 12 rendering comes out, this may still change. If Star Citizen is being set to low, the game may be using more of the CPU over the GPU. When you put your settings to high, you're forcing the game to use more of the GPU rather than the CPU. This obviously will vary based on your system configuration, but a major aspect to be aware of. So yes, your game may be running slow, so try setting things to high to force your video card to engage more. 
After that, while we are setting things to high, we may also want to disable a few things so that the GPU does not need to render as much. With the first one being clouds, let's set those to medium, which is the lowest, and play around with some other settings such as perhaps reducing motion blur, film grain, or chromatic aberration. If you have a more modern GPU or CPU, know that anything you try here may not be as substantial to you as it is to others aside from adjusting some certain settings within the Star Citizen menu itself. This was a short one, but my god, this comes up a ton on the forums and on Reddit. So I wanted to compile what we currently know as a community to help those seeking out some tips. And I hope you found it useful. If anyone else has other tips or tricks, please feel free to load up the comments and help others within the community. And I also encourage you to share this video with others should they raise these questions. Well, that's gonna wrap this one up. See, I told you, short and sweet. And if you enjoyed the content and would like to see more, please be sure to like and subscribe, as that helps support and grow the channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, stay badass. This is Gypsy Ronin, out.